Over the past four years, this state has become Kamala's staging ground to import her army of migrant gangs and illegal alien criminals into every state in America. And every state's a border state. You've heard that. It's true. Paving a trail of bloodshed, suffering, and death all across our land. And it's only getting worse. I think she's coming here today. She doesn't want to go to a swing state because she's losing so badly in those states. So she decided to come to Texas. And I'm sure she'll be treated very nicely. Today, she picked the wrong place. I think she picked the wrong place. What do I know about politics? I haven't done it that long, actually. But today, Kamala is here in Texas to rub shoulders with woke celebrities. Isn't that exciting? But she's not going to meet with any of the victims of migrant crime while she's here. We have many of them right here, the families. We have many of them. And they're incredible people, what they've gone through, the hell that they've gone through. And will continue to go through, unfortunately. She'll not speak to the grieving mothers from whom she has stolen the brightest light in their lives. She was in charge of this border. Upon taking the oath of office, I will launch the largest deportation program in American history. If they come back into our country, it's an automatic 10 years in jail with no possibility for parole. So, you know, because a lot of people, what, what happened, and it happened with Eisenhower, you'd take them out, they'd come back in, they kept coming in. So he kept bringing them further away. At some point, they didn't come back. But I'm going to do it differently. It's a 10-year uh, system of you're in prison for 10 years with no parole. And I'm hereby calling for the death penalty for any migrant that kills an American citizen or a law enforcement officer.